At first glance, it would seem that here is another farmer in Maharashtra keen to know how his sugarcane crop has fared this season. But there is more to Shivram Baburao Bhoje than that. He is an agriculturist all right, but his is a name that is synonymous with the development of nuclear energy facilities in India. Farming is an activity that he has gone back to only after his retirement. Shivram Bhoje retired as the director of the Indira Gandhi Center for Atomic Research at Kalpakam in April 2004 after serving there for 23 years during which he made significant and pioneering contributions in the areas of design, research and development, manufacturing technology and operational methodologies. His primary and most important role was as the head of the Nuclear Systems Division where he was responsible for the design of the 40 megawatt prototype fast breeder test reactor. Having very ably removed the initial problems, Boje raised the reactor power in steps after commissioning of all the systems. The reactor was connected to the grid when electricity was generated in July 1997 at 10 megawatt power. But from where? Did this interest in energy spring from? When I was in the Rajaram College, uh, there was an exhibition called Atom for Peace in the Irwin Christian High School, Kolhapur. And we all the students uh, come on bicycle to see this exhibition. And there the use of atom for the peaceful purpose was displayed. And that was the beginning for my interest in the nuclear energy. And then after joining the Bhava Atomic Center, then it grew much more. Born on 3rd November 1942 at Kasba Sangao, Bhoje's long and distinguished journey began from humble surroundings. He was most unlike other children of his age and such was his almost fiery interest in education that he managed to successfully challenge all the obstacles and made his way to Pune for further education. I did my primary education in Kasba Sangha only. The name of the school is Seti Vyavsaya Vidyamandir Kasba Sangha. I did my secondary education from Shawa High School Kagal, which is 5 km from my place. So every day we used to walk 10 km for going and coming from the school. Because of the far up distance, we could not have any extracurricular activities in the schools like playing or painting or learning any of the art. He did his Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering from the College of Engineering at Pune and after having graduated in 1965, he went on to do a one-year training in Nuclear Science and Engineering at the Baba Atomic Research Centre Training School. The first experience in the Baba Atomic Research Centre was operation of sodium loops in the engineering halls. Because sodium is used as coolant in the fast builder reactors and its handling, its behavior was seen myself during my first year of appointment and that was a, a big, good beginning for my career. While at the BARC, Boje was deputed to France for a year as a part of the design team during 1969-70 and upon his return was transferred to the new research center at Kalpakam where he discovered the tremendous potential of nuclear energy. Nuclear energy is very essential for India considering the large population and the growing economy. We also do not have the conventional sources of oil and gas in our country. And if you want to make India to make a progress and improve the living standards, we must produce nuclear energy on a large scale. It is a safe source of energy. It is an economic source of energy and we have the technology to build it. People fear about the nuclear energy because it was introduced as a bomb to the world. But the comparative risks of all the energies shows that the nuclear energy is the safest source of energy. He certainly played a long innings with the IGCAR and such was his performance that in August 2000 he was promoted as distinguished scientist. He was also the founder member 
of a new public undertaking called the Bharatiya Nabhikya Vidyut Nigam Limited. With over 200 papers published in leading scientific journals, Bhoje has consistently represented India's energy sector at prestigious international conferences and has been a member of various steering committees. In January 2003, he was honoured with the Padma Shri. We have built an experimental reactor at Kalpakam during the 70s and it is operational now. And we have designed, developed and now is, under, uh, is construction the 500 megawatt prototype fast build reactors. When this technology is successful on the commercial scale, large number of such reactors will be built which will give a large <coughs> amount of electricity to the country. On the personal front, Bhoji is a man who loves his movements of tranquility. Reading, farming and spending time with his family is what he loves the best. His wife Uma, whom he met and married in 1971 when she was studying for her final year B.Sc. at Belgao. His wife, his three daughters, sons-in-law and grandchildren are as he puts it, his pillars of strength. He's a good husband, adjustable. He never asked me why you are being like this or that. Never. Yeah, no, I'm proud of him. <laughs> Earlier I was not uh, so much because my friends used to enjoy a lot. They used to tour here and there with their husbands. And I, all the time I'm busy with my children, household, things and all. And uh, that reward I got now. So what he got Padma Shri and all these things. Now people are understanding his work. It's very simple food he likes. He likes jar roti, bengan <laughs> vegetable, or bharta. Because of that office rules, he is wearing a pant and shirt. Otherwise he likes to wear pyjama and shirt only. <laughs> he likes uh, classical music of uh, Bhimsen Joshi and old uh, songs of Lata Mangeshkar and folk music like Launi. He is uh, very hardworking and sincere and uh, spends long time, uh, like long hours in, at his office and is very busy. He almost forgets other things when he is in his work. I think I have got the travel bug from him. And we have developed this uh, hobby of traveling whenever we get a chance and liking for different cultures, languages. He is more committed to work and like uh, he, uh, he likes when he is in his work like he doesn't spend much time on uh, uh, other things which is not interesting. A contented man, Bhoje believes that work is worship and that there must be perfection in whatever you do. Even when it comes to sugarcane cultivation, here on his farm he has improved the yield by 50% in just one year. Now that is what you would call a good energy equation. The most striking thing about him is that he has a clear-cut ideas about everything. Uh, well, my widest dream is that there should be happiness in every family and in every nation. Well, vacation means about you should be away from your place of work and with a total family for one or two weeks. With, uh, there is no radio, no television, no newspaper and uh, you are away from the world. There is uh, too much of a television, hundreds of channels and 24 hours, I think. People leave the job and they do it here. In my opinion, uh, they are spoiling the society. It will have in the long term uh, very bad effects on to the younger generation. Other. It should be a limited one and good program should be there. Humor is something, you know, you can make fun of this one, but without insulting anybody. It should be purely from the point of entertainment. Having always been fond of academics, Bhoji's association with the Shivaji University of Kolhapur provides him with a chance to reach out to a younger generation with his ideas and experience. It also helps him to remain a humble man rooted in reality. Shuramcha Lanpunchi Malai Kathwan Nati Prakashan Dharote Ami Sagres Loka Tawadi Sheti Pradhan Aslo Tari Sudha Sheti Mudhi Kitti Javalche Kooni Hoto that's a good thing. Shuram 
हातात दुधाची किटली खांद्यावर खोरं घेऊन शेताकडून यायचा किंवा शेताकडे जायचा असा आम्हाला नेहमी दिसायचा ते ज्यावेळी इंजिनिअरिंगला कॉलेजला होते त्यावेळीसुद्धा ते सुट्टीमध्ये वडिलांना मदत करायचे एखादा नांगर खांद्यावर घेऊनसुद्धा ते शेताकडे जायचे सुट्टीत आले की तिथं हायस्कूलमधल्या मुलांना आपण मिळवलेल्या ज्ञानाचा तर मुलांना जास्तीत जास्त उपयोग कसा होईल त्यासाठी ते प्रयत्न करायचे एक त्याचं स्वभावाचं वैशिष्ट्य असं की काही हो किती त्रास पडो किती संकट येवो परंतु तो नेहमी हसत खेळत त्याशी झगडायचा किंवा संकटावर मात करायची त्याची प्रवृत्ती होती असा शिवराम ज्याला त्याला पद्मश्री मिळालं त्यावेळेला आम्हाला आमच्या गावामध्ये अतिशय आनंद झाला गावामध्ये इतकी त्याची प्रचंड आणि भव्य मिरवणूक काढली की न भूतो न भविष्य दे अशा तऱ्हेचा सत्कार त्याचा केला Bhoje believes that everything in life is a chain reaction therefore progress in science leads to development of technology that results in economic betterment what's needed for this cycle to function is integration smooth integration <laughs>